Yo, what's good? What's good? What's good? It's Ricky Tice, aka Sergeant Tyson. Yo, definitely hit up this new uh, new tube channel by Villain, the Villain Von Doom. Definitely hit him up on his channel as well. He's out there. He's speaking more real shit than me. I had to take a break on the West Side Highway going back home to New Jersey so uh, I can listen to this video. Right? This is my subject. <laughs> black women, Hispanic women, majority black and Hispanic women. Well, I don't really see Hispanic women abusing this shit unless they got nappy hair and their blood. The carpet. Yes, the carpet. Women who wear that carpet over their head every fucking day. We don't know what's under their scalp. We don't know what's going on with their real hair. But they like wearing that shit every day. Do you see brothers with fucking carpet on? Other than the transsexuals. I mean, transgenders or whatever processors, but they don't abuse that shit every day. I'm talking about different hair wigs, different color wigs, and they be like, what the fuck are they fucking putting on? Different colors, different styles, short, long, whatsoever, extra fluffy, extra nicely, you know, super loose, so whenever the fucking wind blows and shit, that shit blows out like a like a regular like a white chick's hair, you know. Oh, what's that? I was getting phew, these motherfuckers are chopping me up. <laughs> so, man, have you ever come across a woman, black woman, Hispanic woman? that we all know that they're claiming themselves like I'm Spanish I'm Puerto Rican I'm I'm Dominican I'm I'm Costa Rican I'm Panamanian well in our eyes into the white people's eyes you're still a nigga alright you just got African blood in you point plain point is simple but when y'all put on that shit you know every day thinking that shit is cute but you fucking wear it to bed when you go to sleep you don't take it off to give your fucking scalp air, your fucking hair, or your natural hair itself, if you have any, to breathe. We all know if you don't fucking let your scalp breathe, shit gets fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Get a rash. Next thing you notice, your fucking scalp hurts. Next thing you notice, you gotta cut back on wearing these fucking wigs all the time because you're not letting your scalp breathe. You're going to wind up losing your hair that way. You wind up losing pretty much everything. You're going to go fucking bald. The only women that deserves to wear wigs and stuff like that is older women and cancer patients. Women who are fighting cancer, going through the chemotherapy and stuff, wind up losing their hair. And I don't blame them. Cancer is a fucking, it's a serious fight that we all have to fucking stand band together and fucking fight you know what I'm saying but these bitches is wearing these shit. I mean the women and the younger women are abusing this shit you got the light skinned females putting on blue contact lenses and wearing blonde wigs and shit if I want me a European black actually a European black blonde girl in other words how Marlon Wayne said a black European white girl. Yes, that's how you say it. A black European white girl. I'll go find me a white woman. I mean, hey, they're they're out there. They're not too far. They're not too hard to find, especially those who like black men. Cause I don't but the black women, they complain about the black men going what going out with white women or Hispanic women. I was like, oh even the Asian women. I was like, yo, y'all go out with white men. 
who got heavy pockets. You're looking for your job security. You're looking for security. You're looking for a home to stay in. Are you willing to bed wench? I'm saying you're willing to bed wench your ass off so you can have a place to stay for you and your kid or kids if he accepts your kids, but you may have to accept his kids. That's if he claims any kids. So, I mean, they go out there, they're selling their ass online on those dating websites. They're not looking for no relationships and stuff. They're out there advertising. They're advertising. They're on Craigslist. Well, Craigslist ain't no more. But since Craigslist expanded stuff, they're on these other websites like Tag, POF, Tinder, Bumble. Whatever other Wool Plus. They're on a bigger website. Advertising. Selling. Trying to get that simp who's willing to pay for their cars. Even younger women of this of today's generation hitting me up, asking me to cash app. I said, what the fuck is cash app? I look like when I cash app your ass? Shit, fuck out of here with that. You know, and it's fucking crazy. They're, you know what I mean? They're being the clubs. They're not there to advertise. I mean, they're there to advertise, show off their beautiful bodies and their beautiful wigs in different colors. Those take pictures in their fucking wigs and little cute little ass outfits, especially in a clothing store when they go sitting there, you know, going to the clothing booth, changing the clothes and shit different outfit they're trying on see what's it like and take pictures in it I'm seeing while standing in front of the mirror rocking their new hairdo and shit they only look good in a prime but when you meet them in person you be like looking at a picture you be like hold up this ain't you what happened to the person I was talking to you know that I was talking to that sending me all these you know seeing these extravagant pictures these lovely pictures of damn she's a she's a dime piece you know I'm I come out here to meet a fucking 10 they come out I'm looking at a fucking 5 and she'd be like oh that was me like 2 or 3 years ago that's when you was that's when you was looking good before you hit the fucking wall after you had a baby or two now you think your shit is the bomb no it's not if you can mo yo pussy Yo snatch got too many dick miles. Too many dick miles. How many dick miles does your fucking that your damn snatch have? Hmm. How many bodies did you have in you? How many dicks did you have in you? How many how many other dirty dicks? Dirty dick rodneys have you had up in you? The busted nuts in you and shit. And it's up in your fucking DNA. By the time you have a kid by some dude, you know, seeing that that dude got you, you know, like, hmm, this baby look like, this baby over here look like fucking Ray Ray. But this is, this is Roscoe's baby that I just had with him. Oh, and my, oh, and my daughter over here, she looked like Pookie. But this is also, this is also uh, Ray Ray's. I was like, hmm. They'd be like, nah, they don't keep track. I'm saying, Vaughn. Villain Von Doom, yo, he put out some shit. I'm guaranteed. Watch it. I'm saying, it's giving y'all the truth. I'm giving y'all the truth. Avoid women wearing these fucking wigs and shit. You want a woman that has natural hair. Natural fucking hair. Me, I'm losing my hair, but shit, I ain't complaining. I shave this shit right off. This is my hair. I grew it. I got no shame in my game. I'm losing my hair. Fuck it. I shave this shit right off. You know? You want a woman that's got natural hair. You know, if you can tolerate a woman that's like, yeah, all right, she wears box braids or probably, I can deal with that. Or she wear weaves and shit just to protect her hair. I can deal with that. She has natural hair. I can definitely deal with that. 
shit, those are the first ones coming from the line. I don't want no fucking big 300 pound black chick with shit hanging off the sides of a fucking off the sides of a fucking body and stuff with a fucking tight shirt on and pants don't even fit but shit just started to pop out wearing a fucking a uh, bleach blonde wig on and stuff with makeup and jewelry and all these fucking piercings and thinking that shit is fucking cute and tell me you big bitches why the fuck are y'all wearing yoga pants and y'all don't even go to fucking yoga y'all don't even go to the gym the fuck you wearing the pants for for what yoga pants want to look good on women that go to the fucking gym that go to the fucking classes and shit like what I'm looking at right now on the West Side Highway. I'm looking at women fucking running. They ain't jogging pants. They ain't, I'm saying, ah, stop wearing that shit. It's unattractive. Think that shit is cute? You go in the hood thing. Well, yeah, the hood dudes think that shit is cute because the only thing they're going to do is like, the only thing they want to like, mm, they want to smash. Give you a baby. And keep it moving. That's why I be laughing at the women at paternity court. Y'all up in there with your fucking crazy ass fucking wigs and shit, looking all cute, coming to find out, oh, your current boy, your ex-boyfriend or ex-husband or whatsoever is not the father of your child. And you be crying in the fucking court, be like, oh, oh, that other guy, he don't want nothing to do with, with, uh, excuse me, guys. Oh, my goodness. Shit. Yo, she can run on me any day. Sorry, blonde white woman. <laughs> Leg, uh, running pants, well, you know, le uh, leggings, running pants, yoga pants, with a tank top on, and she is jacked. Fucking muscles and everything. It looks like she had a baby, too, but she's working that shit off. I'm, yo, find a good woman. Like Von Doom said, get your passport, get the fuck out the country. Fuck it. There's better women outside the country than the ones that we deal with over here in the U.S. I'm saying I'm from Queens, New York, and the fucking black women over there. I, I was like, I just gave up on them. Like the women over there, it was like this fucking drama, drama, baggage, and fucking bullshit, and kids that comes with it. Now, when I moved to Jersey, yeah, it's a little different story, a whole lot more different. The women are nicer. I never had women actually paid for a dinner. I just had this nice woman actually paid for dinner. I had this one woman actually came over to my house one time and uh, she brought wine. She brought me wine. She brought me wine. Uh, some, she went to Buffalo Wild Wings. She got a mixed variety of wings and shit. I didn't ask her for nothing. She asked me, you know, can I, she asked me, can I come over by your house and hang out with you? I said, cool, no problem. I have no problem with that. But I said to her, like, I didn't cook. I didn't, uh, I didn't cook. I said, like, no, I didn't go do no food shopping. She's like, no problem. I'm saying what you want. I'm going to buy Buffalo Wild Wings. That's not, by, not too far from your house. I said, cool. Not a problem. She went and got it. She brought a she bought two bottles of wine. She bought one that she wanted me to try, one of the favorite ones, and that was it. We was chopping it up, eating and stuff, watching a. I was like pretty much watching movies, and we was talking. Thing is, she was short haired, and she had her her hair was real was short. She maintained that way. That was her look, and I was like, damn, she was fine. But she, but she curved me, all because I forgot about her birthday because I didn't call her on her birthday and I'd be like hold up I only been talking to you for two weeks and you curved me on your birthday ah the each is on <sighs> so yo find a good woman want a good woman get the passport like Von, like Von Doom said get that passport just see the world don't let no woman stop you from seeing the world all right, seeing what's out there. Me, I'm planning to go to the Philippines. I want me a Filipino woman. Shoot, I know a few of my I know a few of my uh, my buddies, black friends. 
they got Filipino, their wives are Filipino. And they say like, yo, that's a good woman to have because they will love you to death. They will love you hard. And they know their place. And they work out with you. They they do things together with you. Even though if you're even though if you're struggling, they struggling with you. They help you out and shit to get you back on your feet. If you're injured and stuff, they're right there helping you, nursing you for health and shit like that. If you was out of work for a bit, you know, she'll she'll pick up the pace, she'll go to work and like they love you to that. I'm like, damn, I want me one. You know. Hey, yo, travel. Go we'll see the world. I plan to go to Vegas on on the week of my birthday. But I might change that. I'm going to work on my passport. I'm going to fuck out of the U.S. I'm going somewhere. I don't care where. As long as the women are nicer, I can be free. I don't have to worry about bullshit. So, yo, avoid the carpet. If you meet a woman, check her scalp. Make sure her scalp is her scalp. You know what I'm saying? That sh- they claim they grow that shit. Nah. Nah. Look at her scalp real closely. You make sure there ain't no fucking, you don't see a damn carpet under it. Because that's what you're going to see. You know, they're going to hide that shit just to prevent that. But, you know. When do you see most black women with blonde hair? Do they grow that shit? No, do they? No, they didn't. Not even all the way down to their back. So, yo, like, share, subscribe. Definitely check out the uh, villain of Von Doom. Also, Black Ram 313. Also, uh, the League of Dads channel. I'm saying. And also, yo, Minister Jap is back. Definitely hit check them out too. Peace.